Hello everyone! In today's video I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough and show you some new items that we got in the coin shop. Let's go take a look. Here we are, we've entered the coin shop and most of you have probably seen this on camera before but this is how it looks like when you walk in. Did get some supplies and uh, we're getting our supply shelf filled up with some things. We got some boxes, got a bunch of different books in the bottom there, currency folders, coin albums. Got magnifiers, got some different size capsules, got some air tights, some coin set holders, some assorted scales. Finally put some proof sets out so people can kind of dig and go through them and we got a bunch of different books on hand as well that have coins or stamps or paper money inside of them for people to buy. And on the end cap here, books. We got the Trifold coin albums, all different kinds. We have Littleton albums, Dansko albums, all sorts of variety there. We got new and used, lots to choose from there. So, uh, but I want to quickly go over some new things we got in the shop. We put a whole bunch of new Morgan silver dollars in the cheap $35 bin. These are also three for a hundred bucks. Let me turn off my fan here. I have a feeling that was interference on the video. And we also put quite a few in the $38 bin as well. Some uh, better dates, some that are going to retail for 40 to 42 bucks each. So there's good bargains in there if you know what you're looking for. We also set up some uh, new bullion trays. Got things organized a little bit better here. And I might have to go around the other side so I can show you this better. But we have a pretty big assortment of sovereign bullion at the moment. There's a tray of Canadian. We got some impaired sovereigns that are spot plus five bucks each. There's some maple leaves in there. Those have uh, varying degrees of toning. There might be some fingerprints or milk spots on it. Uh, we got some other silver sovereigns at spot plus five and a half. And then the silver rounds today are spot plus four. So about 28 bucks each. Then of course we got the 10 ounce bars, five ounce bars. We added some new one ounce bars down there. Uh, but a couple things I want to show you. And I think I'm gonna go around to the other side here in a moment to show you, but we got the one ounce silver reverse proof Buffalo rounds. Each one of these is in a capsule. But they're a beautiful design. I'll go around. Actually, I can probably reach from this side. Not very easily, but there we go. Really pretty design on these reverse proof buffalo rounds. These are 33 bucks each. They come in a capsule. Why the higher price? Uh, these are tough to find. Lower mintage on these. I think for ease, I'm going to maybe walk around to the other side, but I'll do that in a minute. I want to show you this cool thing. I got a silver blob. It's 19.9, I'm sorry, 19.09 .09 ounces, but it's 97% pure. This was tested on an XRF machine, so we know it's 97% pure. And if we convert that to how much pure silver is there, it's 18 and a half ounces. But if you like weird, unique things, boy, this might be for you. Big blob of silver. You can buy it at a pretty low premium right now. And I found it kind of comical. This has been sitting in here for a couple days now. I have a roached, it almost looks like it's burnt, $1 silver certificate from 1957. I put 99 cents on it and nobody's bought it yet. And there is no tax on this type of stuff in the state of North Dakota, but there it still sits. Kind of funny. Maybe I gotta lower it to 90 cents and see if it goes. <laughs> so uh, I still got quite a few silver cards on hand and Lego bricks if those are things you're looking for. 
Uh, but one of the other bins that uh, I'm kind of excited about, because we don't usually showcase these things very much, there's actually two different things. The first one is down here, and it's error coins. We have all sorts of different errors. We have blank planchets, clipped planchets, off-center strikes, wrong planchets, and they're priced right there accordingly. But a lot of cool different pieces that you sure don't see every day. And then also up here, we set up a new bin just yesterday. It's the 100 plus year old US coin bin. And I'll walk around here and show you the, some of the stuff in there. Nothing really high end in here. A lot of it is kind of entry level type pricing for uh, maybe beginner collectors or people who are just looking to start out a set. We have a seeded dime, flying eagle scent, shield nickel, got a really nice half scent. Let me try to get that into focus. It's a, uh, we graded as a VF. Another flying eagle scent there. Got a semi-key barber. Another flying eagle scent. Got some large scents. Some, there's a lot of cull type coins in here. What I mean by cull is there's some degree of damage. Like these three right here are damaged. This one is uh, corroded, the shield nickel. The flying eagle scent is pretty well scratched. And the large scent has a hole in it. But we got a lot of cool pieces. Uh, this here is a racketeer nickel. If you don't know what a racketeer nickel is, get it into focus a little better there. It's a Liberty Head nickel that's been plated in gold. And what uh, criminals, I guess, would do, for lack of a better word, back in the day, is they would take this Liberty Head nickel. Now, this is the first year, 1883. And if you look at the back of it, if I can get that into focus, see how it just has a V, which is the Roman numeral for five, and it does not have the word sense in it. Now, this was the first part of the year in 1883 they made these. Well, uh, sneaky criminals thought, well, what a great idea if I can gold plate this and I can spend it and pass it off as a $5 Liberty Head gold, which, if you flip it over, See, it says $5, but to people who didn't see $5 gold coins very often, you walk into a store with this, you flip it over, oh, that's, that's a $5 gold coin. They would take it as a $5 gold coin rather than a gold-plated nickel and give the person change. But they do look similar to the untrained eye. Granted, in 1883, uh, $5 gold coins weren't cropping up every day, in commerce because that was a lot of money. But that's the story on the racketeer nickel. I don't know if this is an old one or a contemporary one because these have been made uh, contemporary also. But that's the story behind the racketeer nickel. So um, put this gold coin back here. Anyway, see what else is in here. We have uh, some seated quarters. There's another one. Pretty well worn, like I said. We got a highly polished cull two cent piece. We got a cleaned Columbus Exposition. Commemorative half, got a seated half dime. Assorted barber quarters. Like I said, a lot of cool stuff in here. Some more shield nickels and uh, a high grade Indian head scent. This is a, a very high AU, maybe even borders on MS, but real nice detail. You can see full liberty in the headband there. Really nice piece. And then uh, I don't think I've showed one of these yet. We have a three cent nickel from 1867. So like I said, it's the 100 year old plus US coin bin. And we just put a bunch of stuff in here the other day to Try to merchandise some older collector coins because I tell you what, there's a lot of history and cool things about collector coins. So if that's something that interests you, now you know that we have that in store. That's especially for all my locals that come in. Uh, you might notice this bin in the case here now because 
it wasn't here last week. It's new now. And we did add a bunch of barber quarters to our barber coinage bin. Uh, so if it's barber coinage you like, got a lot of stuff there. I'll uh, flip back around to the other side real quick. See, we got YouTube playing. Haven't seen this video yet. I'm not sure who put that one out. This is a spectacular video talking with America's favorite, the coin guy. So, but anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of the quick tour today. Just want to show you a few new things. And uh, we're excited we're getting a monster box of Armenian Noah's Arks in later today. Uh, we've had those several times before, but I've had a lot of customers asking about them. When are you going to get more? When are you going to get more? Well, today actually. So look for that. If that's something you're interested in, give me a holler. Here's our uh, sterling silver case once again. We did sell some stuff out of here. It's kind of funny. We've had, and they're not in this video, they were in a previous one, but there's a silver salt and pepper shakers in the shape of penguins that were in this case. I had a gentleman come in late last week and purchase them. The next day, I had another customer come in specifically looking for those to buy them, and they were already gone. We'd had those dispensers, those salt and pepper shakers, for like two years. And uh, in a matter of a couple days, by the power of YouTube, we had interest in them, and multiple parties interested in them as well. So it's amazing uh, the reach of YouTube. You know, here's this is a lot of our nicer sterling that we have left. We actually sent in over 500 ounces of sterling. Most of it was flatware, silverware, uh, to be melted. And I actually just got the, the info on that back yesterday. So it's melted into a blob and gone forever. It's kind of sad, but we do try to save the nicer stuff. So, but anyway, I'll let you all go. Thanks for sticking with me. I just wanted to get some content put out today. I'm uh, planning a family vacation here in about a week. So I'm trying to get some content together that I can put out and have scheduled on YouTube so I don't have a big lapse in uh, content creation. So hopefully I can get enough stuff filmed for you all and you can check it out and you won't even know I'm gone. But having said that, thank you all for your support. You all are great. You all have a wonderful day.